Okay, what we have here is a 2000 Ford Excursion with a 7.3. I'm out in the dark here. It's night. I'm working outside. Didn't have time to pull this thing in today, so I thought I'd take a look at it out here. Uh, got towed in here, no start. We found some electrical problems, some blown fuses and such. And just happened, so happened that the fuses that were blown were for the PCM, so any previous uh, codes that may have been stored are, are gone. Uh, this is inside the cab here. We'll walk around here. The outside, what I did here is uh, I got the IDM, the injection driver module, hanging here, and I also got the PCM hanging here. And what I got, I got my yellow test lead is back probed to the control wire from the PCM to the IDM. So what we're going to do here, because this is a no start, we want to know if the uh, PCM is commanding the IDM to fire the injectors. We've already done resistance checks across the uh, injectors and everything for, by unplugging the IDM and everything appears to be good. So I got the, I also got one of the injectors back probe, but that uh, back probing injectors on these is kind of a funky business. It doesn't always, it's hard to figure out when you're getting a good, uh, a good injector pulse or not so what we do what I'll do here is uh, I got the virus set up now if this is probably gonna be kind of bright here when I change this over I'll go over to the scanner yeah that's pretty bright uh, what I got on the screen is uh, I'll go over to functional tests and we go to the injector buzz test and we'll see what we get here We'll hit the uh, buzz test. We'll hit continue. You can't see this because the screen's so so bright when it's uh, dark out. The uh, camera won't pick it up. We'll hit continue again and continue one more time. And we can hear one injector buzzing. We'll go over to lab scope. There we can see our signal. If I listen very, f I can hear very faint uh, injector buzzing every time. Uh, and we'll stop the screen here. I could hear one injector buzz loudly. The other seven injectors, the buzz was uh, very, barely audible from in the vehicle here. So uh, we'll just enlarge the screen here. Go back see what we just shot. And we'll go. Well, hopefully we got it. No, maybe I didn't stop it in time. Well, I didn't stop the scope in time. We'll do the injector buzz test here one more time. Make sure uh, scope is running. We're on a two second scale. I'm on a 50 volt, uh, 50 volt scale with a two second sweep. And just a DC probe set up. We'll go back to, oh, nah, we don't want to do that. We'll go back to here. We'll have to set this up again. Go to 50 volts. Change our sweep time back to uh, two seconds. We should be good there. We'll hit this. Go back to the scanner. And uh, we'll go to the back. We'll hit the injector buzz test. We'll do that one more time here. Continue and continue. And there we hear one injector buzzing. Go to the scope. We can see the, the signal from the PCM to the IDM. This is on the control wire. So our, we know our PCM is commanding. We know that our PCM is commanding the uh, the IDM to fire the injectors on the buzz test. And we could, and if we listened, we could hear one injector buzzing loudly. The other seven through the cycle were bar barely audible. And so what we're just checking here is making sure that our PCM is commanding the injector buzz, the injectors to fire, and that's what we have here. First, we it commands all the injectors, and then it goes through and commands each one individually. So we got eight eight sets right here, once for each injector that is buzzing. So we know that our PCM is in, is commanding our injectors to buzz, and we had our we back probed all of our uh, injectors to know that our 
to know that our resistance is good, our, our uh, solenoids on the injectors are good, but where our problem is is that our pentals in the injectors are stuck, and that's why we barely hear, we hear one that's actually good, and we hear seven that are just barely, barely audible, and that's because the pentol isn't moving in the injector. We'll just do one more thing here. We'll, uh, we, we've already checked for the no start. We checked oil pressure, and we're hitting well over 2,000 on cranking. And we're also showing that uh, it is commanding an injector on time of about 3 milliseconds. So we're okay there. We're just going to crank this over once here and see if we can see a signal. <laughs> Nearly fired there. And it is trying to fire actually on one cylinder. The reason it, it almost started there at the beginning, I did spray a little starting. I disconnected the uh, disconnected the glow plugs. I did spray a little ether in there just to see that the engine was good and it was capable of running and it runs smooth on ether. So that's why there's probably a little bit of vapor left there. That's why it almost started there at the beginning. But we can see here, this is the signal from the PCM to the IDM. To command the injectors on. So that's about it. What we basically got here is we got seven injectors that are stuffed up and uh, I'm not really sure if I can get this started without pulling the injectors or not. It's uh, probably ran good this summer when temperatures were warmer but once it started cooling down here to 30 or 40 degrees it probably don't run anymore because uh, oil gets thicker and whatever reason the injectors plugged either using bad oil or not changing the oil or just simply uh, the injectors are wearing this truck does have about 224,000 miles on it I should say this excursion so uh, again that's about it uh, it's just an old start due to uh, stuffed up due to injectors that uh, the pentel is not moving and if the pentel don't move the oil doesn't get through and doesn't get a chance to uh, to squeeze the fuel so I guess that's about it